Here I am, headed out on another adventure. Got three of us, me, Warren, and his friend Caleb. We've all got our own Colorado ZR2, so this should be fun. Uh, gonna go do a, at least one trail, maybe a, maybe a second, we'll see. Um, Mosquito Pass, nothing too crazy, I don't think. Uh, Bird's Eye Gold, just the second one. Just kind of ties into it. So, hopefully get some good footage, get some good views, just exploring new places, new trails, that's what it's all about for me. Love seeing new scenery. And there's so much of it that I haven't seen in Colorado. I've lived here for about six years, seven years actually. Um, yeah, a little over seven years. And I feel like there's so much left to explore. Lots of trails I haven't done yet. Been a good handful, but uh, same thing with hiking. You know, just there's so many trails I've done, a handful of them, but it just feels limitless. We'll see if I feel that way in 20 years. I may be exploring off into Montana or Idaho and some of those, but uh, for now, we'll, we'll stay in the home state. Straight, straight. Yeah, just ease on up. Did it feel as hard as it looked? No. <laughs> no. This thing just like rolled right over it. Yeah. It was really anti-climactic. It was. No lockers, no nothing, just. Yeah, it's great. Tires slip. Got pikes way off in the distance. I don't know if the camera might be able to pick it up, but. This seems to be a pretty popular little trail. There's been several big groups. I don't know if you can see them back there, but uh, we've been taking our time, getting some drone shots and footage, playing around. But uh, that's half the fun for some guys. Some guys just want to cruise and go, and I get that. I have my days, but I always enjoy having the footage to look back on. It just kind of preserves the memory and man, just enjoy photography and getting more into videography. So it's good to combine two hobbies. So we're just letting some Jeeps and some guys, guys pass us. What do you guys think about the canyon? 
it's pretty in here. I like these trails that get above tree line just because they give you so many more views. Cool shot with mine. The three Chevys. 17, a 19, and a 21. I think the 21, they updated the front grille and the badging on the tailgate. So his looks a little bit different. At the inside of this mine here. Still got old, old metal in there. There's where the pass keeps going. About six vehicles up there. We just stopped to walk around this whole mine. The truck's down there. I'm looking out over the valley. Nothing too crazy on this trail, it's just bumpy. But worth the views. Got some nice alpine meadows. And just hanging out. I think we're gonna get up to the top here and eat some lunch. Top of the pass. I think it's Leadville down there, maybe. Mosquito Pass, elevation thirteen one eighty five. Looks like we've got a, like a cemetery stone, headstone. JL Father Dyer. So that's the direction we came up from. We got Pikes Peak sticking up over that mountain back there. And then this side over here is actually pretty. Well, not that that side's not pretty, but these mountains are a little bigger, a little closer. It's 
So something that I don't think I've mentioned on these trails that get real bumpy, what I always do is air down my tires to usually somewhere between 20 and 25 PSI. If I had bead lockers, I'd go a little bit lower. Um, I just, I don't want to risk bead beating my tire, so I keep it just, just high enough, feel comfortable with it, but low enough to cushion the ride a bit. It also gives you a bit more traction. But if you do that, make sure you got an air compressor with you. I've got a Vi-Air that I bought off of Amazon. Some people will do the ARBs and have it installed in the engine compartment. Have it all built in, but I uh, haven't gotten that fancy yet. So we're at the little turn off or bird's eye gulch. There's the view for the rest of the trail that we were on. And now we're splitting off. Mosquito Pass to Bird's Eye Gulch. So I feel like there's a lot of people that live along the Front Range or elsewhere around Colorado that do these day trips like we're doing today. They'll just get in their vehicle and go check out some mountain passes. And earlier in the summer, they're usually blooming with wildflowers. I don't feel like you see a whole lot of wildlife on some of these more traveled roads, uh, but they are out there. Deer, oftentimes moose, elk, um, depending on where you go, maybe some bears, but uh, it's been a, been a while since I've seen one. It seems like they're a little more far and few between, but again, de kind of depending on where you go. ran back up that hill after videoing these guys. Nobody tells you that off-roading is uh, gives you a little bit of cardio too. Straight, straighten it up.
What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I keep driving off. I forget my camera here. That's what happens when you try to drive, fly a drone, record, all the things I do. All right. I'm gonna record the distance back down to see how far we drove before I remember to hit. Next time I'll have to Wear some shorts for trail running. So that was a whole half mile back. Got a one mile trail run in at 11,000 feet. I'm sweating. I didn't really come prepared for that. Running in pants and sweaty back on the trail 